I want Browns fans to understand something right now. And I've been hearing this, especially a lot from the media. Well, the Browns are not interested in winning. They're not playing to win now. The team in the last two years is 4-28. and 28. Four and twenty-eight. It wasn't just one and fifteen last year. It was three and thirteen the year before. You're not going from four and twenty-eight to ten and six. So the team should not be making moves just to win big this year. So let's just underline this. Now this may sound obvious. Obvi- you know, the other clear thing is coaches do want to win. If the Browns just wanted to go one and fifteen this year, they would not have signed Kevin Zeitler for like 50 million bucks. They would not have signed J.C. Treater for like 18 million bucks. They would not have signed Kenny Britt for like 32 million bucks. Those are three veterans they brought in here. So they want to spend money on players they feel are going to be here for more than a year or two. And I bring all that up because I'm hearing, well, the Browns have cut all these veterans. Now, Joe Hayden is the big one. And I will say I could easily have made a case for the Browns keeping Hayden. His salary is $11 million. They have a lot of room in the salary cap. Joe is no longer a Pro Bowl caliber cornerback, at least in my view and the view of many others. But I think if he stays reasonably healthy, he can still play. You know, the Browns elected to cut him. The Steelers immediately jumped up and grabbed him. That's classic Browns sort of thing. But I'm hearing, what about all these other players? They cut all these other guys. You know, John Greco. I like John Greco. But in the NFL... Once you get 30 and older, unless you're a really good player, it's almost like you're in this den- dead zone, danger zone. They don't want you. You know, John Greco was cut a few days ago, and at least at the time I'm making this video, no one has picked him up. Whereas, well, I remember when Joe Hayden, 28-year-old Joe Hayden, not 30, 28 years old, that's a big difference. Right away, there were several teams trying to sign Joe to what would be considered kind of a modest contract for a veteran player. But Greco did not get picked up. A couple weeks ago, the Browns cut an experienced defensive lineman, and I heard the same thing. They're not trying to win. They cut Desmond Bryant. Well, that was a few weeks ago. Desmond Bryant's not been picked up. He's 31 years old. Months ago, right after the draft, the Browns cut Gary Barnage. Tight end, caught 55 passes. And I have to admit, this one's bewildering to me. 55 passes last year. He's 32 years old. He talked to a couple teams. He can't even get an invitation to training camp. You know, again, the dead zone. Now, I would argue perhaps Greco could help some team here or Barnage could help a team. But when you look at what the Browns really did, other than Hayden, I can't have a problem with it, the older players that they got rid of. Now, the players that did get picked up that they cut are younger guys. Cody Parkey, younger kicker, he got picked up. Xavier Cooper, he was in the 2015 draft. He was picked up. And then the last one was Brock Osweiler. He's only 26, picked up by Denver, going back. And I love the comment from John Elway. He said, we have to put Brock into football rehab. So. I don't know what that meant his time in Cleveland and elsewhere, but they're going to work on him. But, so let's just circle back. Here's the point. Before we go all crazy about the Browns cutting veterans, the real verdict comes in after they hit the open market, do other teams sign them or not? 